welcome back lovely people so i'm back again with another recipe and this time it's some pumpkin soup a hearty delicious soup recipe so these are some of the ingredients for this soup and everything that i use will be listed in the description so make sure to check that out So step number one is to wash and cut up the corn, pumpkin, onion, and garlic. Alright, so I use pretty much half or probably a little bit over half of that pumpkin that you saw earlier in that clip. At this point, the size doesn't really matter because we're pretty much gonna blend this at the end or if you choose you can always just smash it out in the pot instead of blending which you know you'll see in the next couple of clips So prior to this, make sure you have at least four to five cups of water that's already boiling on your stove. Once you finish prepping these, the pumpkin, the corn, the pimento berries, the onion, the garlic, then once your pot starts to boil, you're going to just add all of this to your pot. So cover your pot, let this boil, let the pumpkin cook and after your pumpkin is cooked as you can see right here, only remove the pumpkin. Yes, you might get away with some of the onion, the pimento, the garlic, which is fine, alright? So add your pumpkin to a blender, you can blend this up. As you can always choose to just smash this out in the pot, I just blend it out. So cover this, you know, let it go and boil some more. So while the pot is boiling, it's time to make the dough for the dumplings. Choose whatever flour you want to put in your pot. So I'm adding some spell flour and then you want to gradually add some water to this. And as I mentioned in one of my other videos, I'm not going to be adding any salt to this.
so this is the yam that i use this is yellow yam so i know you've seen where i only cut a piece right here but i ended up using the entire thing all right so you want to make sure to remove all the skin from this now usually i cut all my grown provisions especially my yam and my banana right when i know i'm going to add it to the pot because with this you know like when you cut apple for those that are not familiar with you know yam you know when you cut an apple or even avocado you notice it changes color it's the same thing with these if you cut it and you let it sit out it's gonna get brown all right so just for the purpose of this video i'm actually gonna add this to some lemon water okay this will really minimize the change in color by the time i'm ready to add it to the pot and then i'm gonna do the same thing with my banana I'm gonna add it to that same bowl with the lemon water. So now it's time to cut up the bananas. Alright, so if you've never cut this before, watch carefully. This is not the best detailed version, but you see just those little joints like on the banana skin, you want to slice those with a knife so you can, you know, you'll be able to open the skin and remove the banana. Remember, it's not like ripe banana where you can easily peel it. These you actually have to cut it. As you can, you know, you're going to see in the video. And also, you saw me showing that grapeseed oil. This can actually stain your hands and your finger. So, when you add the oil, it will really, you know, minimize it or prevent your hand or your finger from getting stained. So, make sure to remove all the skin. And if you never cut this before, as long as you remove all the skin, you're good to go. Even if you break a piece, that's all right. So just to save some time, I'm chopping up my carrots and this is two medium sized carrots. So you want to chop this up and guys chop this up in however size that you want. Okay. So at this point you can remove the yam and the banana from the lemon water, give them a light rinse. And then you can pretty much start cutting these into some smaller pieces. So this is pretty much an extra footage. I'm trying to show you guys how I made the dumpling one more time. Okay, so if you haven't seen my stew peas recipe, that's how I made the spinners. And then in the previous clip that wasn't so vivid, this is a little bit better. You just want to roll the dough in the palm of your hand until you get to this shape. That's dumpling. That's a small one and if you want a bigger one, is the same technique so you slowly roll this 
into the palm of both hands all right and then that's it that's your dumpling all right i hope this one was a little bit better so once all of that is done you're gonna add all of that to your pot and if you need more water add some more water to this So cover your pot, give it 5 minutes or so and in that meantime you want to go ahead and prepare the potatoes, sweet and the regular potatoes. And the reason why we're adding these a little bit later is because you want to actually have decent sized potatoes to eat because potatoes tend to smash out the longer you cook it, it's going to smash out. And of course we're going to add some more pumpkin to this dough because of course it's pumpkin soup, can't get enough of the pumpkin so we're going to add some more pumpkins to this. And you can always choose to remove the skin if you wish. I just remove the defected areas on the skin. All right. So now we're gonna wash these and then add them to the pot. So now I'm gonna balance the soup and food ratio. The next step is to just add some water to this and some coconut milk. And don't worry, the full list of everything will be listed in the description, the amount that I use. Alright, so at this point, add your coconut milk. It's time to season the pot. And so I'm grating some ginger. I'm going to prep the scallion, the thyme and the scotch bonnet pepper. So after adding this to the pot, the next step is to add the seasonings and this is a mixture of different all-purpose seasonings which will be listed in the description. So at this point you can season your pot to your desired taste, cover this and let your soup boil some more. So you want to cover your pot and give this about 10 more minutes and then after that 10 minutes the next step is to add some fresh parsley to this so chop this much and then add to the pot So after adding the parsley, you can turn off your heat because pumpkin soup is up and ready. Look at this. This looks amazing. And let me tell you, this is beyond delicious. This soup doesn't need nothing else but a bowl, a spoon, and mouth. I hope you all try this recipe and if you do, Comment down below and let me know how you like it. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and see you all again in my next video.